running on Mac uh, to control Pro Tools HD 12. Here we go. I got Dtouch running down here. It's their launch screen. Um, this is my Pro Tools session. If I now hit run, you'll see Dtouch will appear. You have your toolbar here and you have this overlay. Um, it's hard to see that it's an overlay, but it is. Um, over the Pro Tools faders. If I hide the overlay, you'll see the Pro Tools faders. Um, if I show it, you'll see the Dtouch faders, which are larger. If you want, you can make them even larger. Um, if you decide to hide one, two, or three, or all of these um, insert or send uh, banks, um, you can resync Dtouch and it will enlarge the faders. Um, I've done this in my um, VCA um, yeah in my VCA screenshot for instance I have, so now I have huge VCA uh, faders if I go back to my work um, show hide marker um, they'll be normal um, there's a few different versions of the faders you can use this is the normal one where you can um, use uh, swipes for instance to solo or uh, to put things on record ready um, which is nice um, and you can put things faders on fine fader mode individually um, the faders are quite easy um, but if you would like to put them on fine fader mode then you get this large movements for small increments which could be very handy now there's also another thing you can do uh, another fader view which is called DT, DT auto which is detouch automation um, and what you can do here is do some simple things you can set a fader to zero you can set a fader to infinity so all the way down so that's really handy you can do this with a swipe gesture um, you can put it on J, J I forget what that is to be honest oh yeah it's wherever you wherever you touch your fader snaps to that position which is handy if you want that sort of thing or you can put it on delta which means no matter where you touch um, it'll move um, if you want that then you can do that or you can put it in fine fader mode which is the same thing locally just for one fader so I like my faders set to zero as much as I can so there we go all my faders are set to zero now you can also put it on PT auto and that put, puts all the automation modes of your um, uh, of your tracks right here instead of having to deal with that little thing that's pretty easy I like it in a normal setup usually, uh, but um, I don't really use automation that much and for recording I, I, I draw it in mostly. Um, so I, I won't be using that PD automation view. Uh, but this is really handy. Um, the only thing, the only drawback is that you get smaller meters, but you know, it's all fine. Okay, um, you got a little panel here for macros. I got my most used macros here. Um, as you can see, I have quite elaborate um, uh, track show hide markers. Um, so I have my drums here. For instance, all my drum tracks with everything related to them the buses, the bass bus, the guitar bus, and a few, um, um, a few VCAs as well. And of course, I can bang between them. Here I get all my VCAs, all nice. Um, I got my bass, my guitars, my keyboards, my vocals, my background vocals, and then I have a few folders here that pop up if I want uh, more stuff. For instance, for the drums, I have drum folder. I have all the kick tracks with everything related to that, and the plugins will open. Uh, snare and overhead, same thing. Percussion. Um, so yeah, if I want to go to the kick tracks, I'll just do that. Uh, oh yeah. Let me just switch that quickly. Update that macro so that it works better. Drum folder. 
edit, boom. There we go. Save that. Sign a macro button. So if I do this now, drum folder, hit the kicks, it'll do everything, but then it'll close that window at the end. So I don't have to do that manually. Okay, so here. Um, what I also did as a functionality I missed uh, was just a, a clear clip light thing. It's a button I use a lot on my Pro Control. So I just put that on a macro. If I had a quick clip light here, it would be away now. Um, um, Protos or Detouch requires you to only show three, a maximum of three slots of these insert and send slots. So you can't have all four showing at the same time. Um, it's not a big deal. Uh, Raven on the MTI allows you only to see two slots. Um, what you can do is have a simple macro swap whatever the one. For instance, for me, it's for the sends. I've got all the inserts showing, but only one bank of sends. I just hit that macro, and it'll swap the sends. You know, it's not a big deal. Uh, I also have um, a macro for all for show and hide all floating windows. For instance, if you would have, I don't know, a few... Um, oh, shit, I didn't want to do that. Mm. Oh, whatever, I'll do that again. If you have a few plugins showing, go here. I've got that one showing, the Ultra Max showing. Go here. For instance, I got this thing in a jig showing. Boom. Um, then you can have this show and hide floating windows macro which is quite handy so there I'm gonna close these things and whoop, hide the floating windows so there you go and this will update um, if you go to it's already getting a bit long this video if you go to um, your edit screen you'll see uh, that it's slightly larger um, the toolbar um, there's a lot of functionality there. I won't do it all now, but I also have the float uh, button here. But what I decided to do is put all my markers here, because in the edit mode, edit window, I just prefer to have all my markers there. Um, and I don't really, in the edit view, I don't really go from all these other um, these other uh, tracks or these other show hide markers, I don't really use them that much in the edit window. If I wanted to, I could make a folder here that had all of these other markers in there, so so then it just pops up and boom. Um, I don't uh, require it at the moment, there's some free slots available. Um, I'll do whatever, you know? But, so if I go back to my mix, for instance, Let's go to my let's go to my VCA um, again. So it's easy. No idea why this is all set up in a wave like that. So let me just put it in DT automation mode and snap everything to zero. Hey, go on, boom. It's all set to zero now. I like that. Go back to high res meters. We like that too. Okay, so. Um, I'm going to show it with this hand now, so that's one finger, that's two faders, oops, two faders, three faders, four faders, two, all going, Let's see if I can get a fifth one, yeah, five faders, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, boom, ten multi-touch, I mean, of course, you're never going to do this, but uh, if you wanted to, you could, I mean, for me, it's all, I don't use the faders that much, to be honest, um, I kind of said and forget them and tweak them a little bit. And if I want automation, I'll draw it in. But if you're a heavy fader guy, you can have them. You can have a screen uh, a show hide marker where they're all huge, if if you so desire. Um, I mean, for me, it's just like you know, two faders at the same time, that kind of thing, and then maybe one here. And then, I mean, usually I'm just working like this, you know. It's I don't know how about you, but I don't know about you, but for me, it's it's, it's not. 
I can imagine for live you would want this, but um, so yeah, this is my first day. I'm I'm still you know, getting used to it. Um, I think I'll be fine. That's it for now. Um, I'll see you guys later.